Thank you, Stefan. Uh, I'd like to, to share you, with you uh, my enthusiasm about uh, this uh, next big transformation in media. We're talking about uh, what will happen when people uh, will become digital. I think it's, it's quite clear that media is being changed by digitalization. Uh, I spent a few years uh, working on digital maps. I can tell you that this has fully revolutionized the world of paper maps. Interestingly enough, Digital maps are today a lot more than just a replacement for paper maps. They have become a new way to interface with your reality. And they also, incidentally, have become a market that is 10 times larger as paper maps used to be. So we are, we are all very much aware as a user of the changes we've been through in music. Music has been completely revolutionized by digitalization. Uh, Interesting here is that the music industry did not play a big part in this evolution, but also what we have here is people using a lot more music than they used to before the digitalization. And to me, it's absolutely obvious that the next category is going to be reading with the advent of e-paper. The first sign of this evolution has been the launch about one and a half year ago of um, an e-reading device by Amazon. And what's interesting is that it's been, it's been uh, sold two million times in a very short time. Uh, if you follow that curve, that means that it's going to be with us much faster than uh, music devices have been with us. That means that most of these people in this room will own an e-reader of some sort within two or three years. Readers come in variety of shape or form. Uh, I want to be clear, this is not about the success of one particular device or the success of one particular company uh, in the market. It's, it's very much a broader uh, evolution. Uh, and the reason why this is happening today has to do with two technical evolutions. The first one is e-paper. This is literally as thin as paper, as sharp as paper. It doesn't require much uh, energy, and it can be read in sunlight. Uh, today, it's black and white, but color is on the way. The second very important factor is actually connectivity. So the piece of paper you have in your hand is connected to the internet, or is connected to someone else's piece of paper. And these two factors are actually behind uh, the revolution that we're actually seeing. Now, you could say, why does this matter? Uh, this could be just yet another uh, technological advance, but it matters because reading is so important. Reading is the key way we acquire knowledge before face-to-face -face communication and before radio. And any educator will tell you, there is no education without reading. Reading is a prerequisite for children growing up to develop a personality, and it's obviously very important for society. Without reading, no progress. So e-paper, does this mean paper is dead? Does this mean, to a larger extent, the end of culture? The big question whether book is going to die or book is going to become obsolete I think has to be answered with a clear no. The reason is this is actually quite an amazing piece of technology. It has a very long battery life. It, uh, it is relatively cheap to produce. It can be shared. And it also, from a user interface standpoint, pretty, pretty well solved. So the book is here to stay. And the e-paper revolution is not about replacement of the book. Moreover, I'm sure that most people in this room have a very strong affection to books. It stems from the fact that the experience each and every one of us has made reading books have been that of discoveries and adventures. That's another reason why books are so dear to people. There are a number of people who actually crave for the smell of new books, which is basically glue and chemicals. <laughs> But that is, that, is, that is probably has more to do with the adventures we've all ever had 
while reading than with the medium itself. In fact, it is quite clear that what matters is the message rather than the medium is being, is being encapsulated in. To take back a music analogy, you know, I'm sure some of you have a strong affection to vinyl record. The matter of fact is the vinyl record hasn't saved the music industry from transforming itself. So, personally, I, I buy a lot of, of um, magazines. I, I, I buy about 10 to 15 magazines uh, a month, which means that whenever I'm traveling, I have to look for magazines and find magazines. Uh, now, imagine having all of this in one device. You basically have one magazine that gives you access to all the magazines in the world. This is reality 18 to two years from now, and this is something that will definitely change the way we consume this type of media. When it comes to book, I guess most of you have the luck of living close by a well-stocked bookshop. Uh, the re reality, however, is that that's only the case for, for, for a small portion of the population. Now, give, if I could give people in China, in Turkey, or in Russia, one book that gives them access to all of the books, now imagine the impact it will have on the consumption of knowledge. Now, this is more about just buying media. If you linked two pieces of paper, there are a realm of opportunities that are opening up. And one of them is certainly in education. You could share document in real time and get feedback from students. This is one of the great applications of e-paper. In a business context, imagine three people working on a subject, sharing a folder in the cloud, meaning in the internet, and every, every time someone adds a bit of knowledge to that recipient, it's available in other people's device, other people's book. Now, interestingly, reading is a solitary experience, but it is actually a very, a very strongly a social act. People read in order to share with others. They talk about the last book they have read. And the digital equivalent of that would be sharing what you've read, either in real time or, 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 or without, with, with the friends you have, for instance, by integrating the e-paper with a social function. And this is the equivalent of getting to know someone by browsing through his bookshelf. Another aspect that is actually very interesting is how will authors cope with this transformation? We already have some evolution that go into the direction of micro-publishing. Micro-publishing meaning an author can actually bypass the industry and reach out directly to, to his reader. Obviously, a digital book is one factor that will create such kind of opportunity, including, obviously, the feedback, the other way around, the readers interacting with, uh, with the author. Now, digital means open. Information wants to be free. In this particular case, we have to ask ourselves, also learning from the music industry, whether one company will come down to monopolize the distribution of knowledge to the rest of the world. This is basically what has happened with the music industry. The industry uh, has been iTuned, meaning he has, it has lost the ability to, to connect with its uh, customers, and it also has lost the ability to develop new models on top of this uh, new platform. So this is more actually than the question of the survival of one large company versus the other. Uh, in particular, the publishing industry plays a major role in our democracy. Uh, it is one of the guarantees for freedom, and it is actually quite scary nowadays to see that in some large American town, newspapers are disappearing. Local newspapers are disappearing. Uh, so, here as well, uh, while not being the solution to all of the industry's problem, e-reading 
is an opportunity. It's an opportunity for authors to get paid for their work. It's an opportunity for publishers to develop new product for this new medium. And even if the business model are not clear today, even if there is a level of uncertainty, what is clear is that the future of publishing will be digital. So to summarize, um, people will not disappear. It will be with us for a long time. However, uh, digital paper is something that is going to be upon us as fast, at least, as digital music uh, has uh, come to us. And uh, it will definitely change our lives. It will change the way we read, it will change the way we consume, the way we learn, and it will have a very big impact on society. Now, incidentally, the new generation is already embracing this medium and, and uh, adopting the future, and I hope we all will as well. Thank you.